Hey guys, Pat Tokoyama here. Next one I wanted to talk about was this uh, portable solar panel by EcoFlow. This is the 220 watt bifacial solar panel. And um, I was actually pleasantly surprised to come across this because the previous solar panels that I've had, I've had two of them already. One was a flexible one, but it was really meant to be uh, installed somewhere permanently but I usually took it with me on our road trips when we went camping. The second one that I bought um, was a very heavy one. It folded in half and it was probably around 70 pounds. Uh, while the output was great, it was not portable at all. And um, that was when I realized that I really needed to get something either smaller with less output um, or something lighter. So that's how I came across the EcoFlow 220 by Facial Solar Panel. And overall, it's been uh, great in my experience. I think um, it meets what I was looking for as far as the, the output of 200 watts as well as the portability and it actually works as advertised. So uh, with the pros and cons um, I think the main things are that it's very portable. That's the first thing. Uh, it's easy to set up right away so as soon as you take it out of its carrying case all you have to do is unfold it and plug it in. So it takes like two steps. Um, also, the, uh, the actual um, panel itself is supposed to be able to get light from both sides. That's why it's called bispatial, so from the front side and as well as the back in case you have some reflective surface that you're uh, putting the panels on, which helps to increase the output of the panels. So not all panels have this uh, feature, which I think really makes this um, stand out. And it also has a tempered glass, which is supposed to make the panels stronger. So um, either way, even if it didn't have that, you'd want to be careful since the solar panels can be damaged uh, relatively easily. So not just this one, but in general. So those are some of the pros. So some of the cons, because this is just one device and this is if this is something that you're dependent upon uh, for survival, for example, if you're going off the grid for a few days and you really need your electricity, you might want to have a backup because uh, you never know when things could go wrong. Uh, and it's always good to have a backup, especially uh, because this would just be like a single point of failure. Second, the fabric support that it comes with is the carrying case, essentially. So you're going to be, if you have these tilted at an angle, you're going to be using the carrying case as a back support to keep it propped up at an angle against the sun. Uh, it's made of fabric, so I'm not really sure what the durability of that would look like um, long term, especially if it's going to be outside and exposed to the elements on all the time. I think it would have been great if they used some sort of a hard plastic or uh, maybe even uh, stainless steel or some sort of a metal uh, to prop this up. But then again, maybe that would have made the entire package a little bit heavier, but that would have been the trade-off in that it would be more durable. Third con is that there isn't any USB-C or um, built-in battery. So you're gonna have to connect this to something in order to use it. I think it would have been great if they had some USB direct direct USB out PD ports um, or maybe even a small built-in battery but again that might have added weight to the device. So overall those cons aren't really that big of a deal in my opinion and like I mentioned um, some of the things that I were, was looking for in a solar panel this fits all of those and checked all those boxes. So overall very happy with this. Um, I would consider for sure the 400 watt solar panel if I ever needed that much uh, solar charging ability in the future. Um, the 100 watt solar panel was a little bit too small and not fast enough for my, my needs. I wanted something that was going to fast re charge relatively fast, which is why I chose this one, which is like right in the middle. So not too small, not too large, just right. So hopefully that helps you if you're deciding um, to get this or not. Um, I know for me it's, it's something that I've been very happy with so far and uh, I think that's going to be it.